Ruth. That's the daughter. Looks like some sort of a monster coming out of the sea, some big, hairy thing. Treasure chest. Looks like the two twins, the two... Fretlands arguing? Krayoka. Drawing crayon 24 colors. What's going on with that rabbit? Is it laughing maniacally or something? It doesn't look okay. <laughs> something looks wrong with it. <laughs> What's going on in that picture? That looks like the monster coming out of the sea. Going for a treasure chest. For Bondelson. For Bondelson. Let me Google that. For Bondelson apparently means curse or the curse. So, yeah. Creepy. Looks like a church. The pews. Yeah, the... the two twins. I think that's the twins there. On the extreme left and then the extreme right, and they look like they're staring at each other angry. Between that and this... Something happened between the twins. And they started to argue and, and hate each other. There's growing animosity, maybe related to pulling out of the mine? Or maybe that's what caused him, one of them, to pull out of the mine? Ah, oh, draw. Yes. Is this a crib? It must be, right? Let me turn the music volume up as well. I turned it down because in the menu it seems super loud. But in the game it doesn't seem to be. Such a beautiful landscape. And see a couple people there, but they're just little dots. Oh, Edward can play. Draugen Waltz. I think this is the music that played in the menu.
They even got that little chair scraping sound when we back away from it. Why does that have an X on it? What is... What? I don't get it. It shows it's an interactive thing, and then I get to it, and then there's an X. Like, uh-uh, not yet. I can't read it very well, but it is readable text. August 4th, 1923, we received a t -t letter something something. Huh. Smoking their pipe in this chair. Looking out the windows. These chests that I've seen all over the house are absolutely massive. I think Edward could fit in one of those. That's another thing that I can't examine. Why? But there's obviously text there, and it's sort of readable. Awfully small, though. It's from 1909. That was a while ago. It's 1923. Lissy. By the village houses, Teddy. Can I just like go on the rocks if I want? Eh, not really. These flowers are so beautiful. Yeah, it looks like there's, I don't know if those are invisible walls or if it's just the rocks that they don't want you to step on. sell this air in Boston. It's frankly medicinal. Careful you don't fall. You suck the fun out of everything, old boy. We're far from any doctor. I don't want you to hurt yourself. That's not very likely, is it? 
Thought you were scouting ahead. What do you think I'm doing? Vantage point. Like on a pirate ship. I can probably see our house in Hanover from here. Did you check those buildings? Knocking on doors isn't a scout's job, old bean. There must be someone around. Only one way to find out, old sport. Did you check all the houses? Let's get checking. Hello? Anyone here? Why, hello, Mr. American. Please come in for a cup of tea and biscuits. You're not helping. <laughs> also, they drink coffee here. No one home? Nope. I think at this point we've just given up on waiting for people to answer before we go inside. Oh, we haven't? Okay. Edward wants to be polite. Anyone home? Unless they're playing hide and go seek, I'd say that's a no. There's one more house. Third time's the charm. You know that meme? It's like a picture of, of something or someone, and then there's like a, a little questionnaire that's filled out like, I will, I will love it. I will protect it. I will cherish it. That's me and Lissy. They're great. <laughs> Hello? The hell? Who? Who's there? For a dare. Let me translate that. Oh, that translates into traitor. It's traitor in Danish. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's super creepy. Hello? Anyone home? Doesn't look like this place has been tossed or anything. September 21st, 1923. Vi er desperata. Lissy, found something here. Escalated from words to stones. Blood has been spilled. The curse haunts us all. There is no hope left in... Uh, good Svarlata. Good. God. Right. In this God-forsaken place. The death of the... Jiminy. Death of the children was the end of Grovik. Whatever remained of our souls departed with them. You should see this, Lissy. The letter just trails off. It was never sent. Death of the children, the curse. So it's in Danish. Does that show up on our letters? It doesn't, and I mean, obviously Edward knows Danish a little bit, but not great. I guess most things we find are going to be in Danish, right? Why wouldn't they be?
Did you hey. see this door closing? It was just the wind, teddy bear. You're as skittish as a pussycat. Three strikes, you're out. I don't think anyone's been home for a while. Someone painted the word traitor on one of the doors. And there was a letter. It sounded foreboding. Still think everyone's out fishing? No. Let's actually read these little things first. Oh, although <laughs> with Lissy moving, it might be a little bit hard. The boat still bothers him like a fly buzzing in his ear. There's no good reason for it to simply vanish. I don't think these are from Lissy's perspective, the descriptions. They might just be like a kind of omnipotent third person narrator. Right? Like, I can imagine the narrator saying, The boat still bothers him, like a fly buzzing in his ear. He's only seen a small part of the village, he thinks. There are still many places to visit. Elizabeth is the sole reason he's there, and he can't lose sight of that. Where would Betty go if she was here right now? I'm sure she'd go for soda pop. Do you think they'll have cola at the general store? <laughs> Doubtful. Boo. Betty likes exploring new places. She'd have done the same here, and she'd have left some trace of where she'd gone. I just need to put myself in her mind, see this place through her eyes. Well, it's a bright and beautiful day, and we have nothing better to do. What on earth are you doing? Handstands, Teddy. My record is two minutes. I'm working on three. Just go on ahead. I'll catch up. <laughs> Betty would have taken plenty of constitutionals here. She loves the outdoors. How so? She's a city girl. I'm sure she gets tired of Manhattan. And when she was little, she loved playing in the garden back in Hanover, especially around the... the pond. Are you alright? I just miss her. Does something happen at the pond? Ooh, it's overcast now. Well, just this little part. Patches of sun as well. I want to look around the back of this trader building, see if there's anything else. Ah, I can't get back there. I think this is heading over to the church. I think I want to explore more around the dock and stuff first. And where does this go? I wonder if they have a path you can walk up to the top of the mountains. Looks like this just loops back around. Yeah. Let's go down with the dock. I saw at least one building down there. This is where we slid down in the mud. Moss all over the roof. So How cool. We don't go back to Hanover and stay here instead. How'd you get How there? I survive. Hunt, harvest, forage. People have survived here for centuries. Why can't we? I wouldn't even know where to begin. I could learn. I'd start with goats. Goats can be eaten and milked. Probably not in that order. <laughs> it took me a second to actually think about what you said. Fretland and Son. How do you figure? It's on the sign above the entrance. And on this photograph. Frederick and Simon Fretland. Is Frederick the one that quit the mine? Did they set up this place instead? 
So this is the general store. Uh, applesauce. Why are there <coughs> doors? Applesauce? I can't imagine they have a problem with punks and hoodlums. The sign says they're closed, but I thought maybe... Hello? Are you open? Is anyone there? Can't you just bust down the door? Locks be damned? Breaking and entering, I will not. I'll just dislocate my shoulder. I saw there was an open window back here. I don't think I'm going to be breaking in, though. Why would Edward do that? Frederick Fretland and son. Johann's brother and nephew. <laughs> the Fretlands have their fingers in all the pies, including the only store in town. Also the post office and telegraph. There may be something that'll lead us to Betty in there. Or at least to some canned sardines. We need to get you fed, old bean. Yeah, have we had any food? Certainly not last night, and I don't think this morning either. The older gentleman is clearly Mr. Frutland's twin brother. Twins are confusing. If this was a dime novel, they'd be switching places at some point to confuse the coppers. Damn you, twins! Simon Fretland. Frederick's son. And Johann's nephew. See, I'm getting the hang of this. You'd have thought someone would have seen us by now. Even from out at sea. Maybe there was a spell or curse that made them all invisible. Honestly, Lissy. Or maybe we are the invisible ones. Uh, but then we would see them, wouldn't we? No, I think my original thesis is more like <laughs> The villagers turning invisible is the more likely thesis. Do try to keep an open mind, Edward, darling. Well, I think you're right about the curse, at least. I'm not sure about the invisibility. They had a memorial service for the accident in the mine. On July 24th, in the village church. For something that happened 20 years ago? It still affected their lives. The ferry route is no longer operating. Rats! Mrs. Fretland already informed me in her letter. I know. Still warrants a resounding rats. I wonder why it stopped running. Look around. How many people live here? 20? 30? That can't be enough for a ferry route. Things got quieter after the mine closed down. They need to move on and find something else to put their village on the map. Mm, a tobacco farming, maybe. The telegraph is out of order. Well, there goes my plan. N-O-S-O-S. -S. This was two years ago, but the notice is still up. How can it take two years to get something like that fixed? <laughs> if they couldn't afford it? Or couldn't get anyone to come fix it? Well, this place really is off the map. Here be dragons. Or dragons, I guess. His arms are still sore from the trip across the fjord. He won't soon forget the ordeal. The ferry would have made the trip here much easier. And you wouldn't have had to pay that farmer a fortune to rent his boat. I had no choice. We should keep his boat. If it comes back. Bring it with us to Hanover. <laughs> Do what with it exactly? I don't know. Grow parsley in it? Use it in the... in the pond? Forget it. Stupid idea. He pities the village, disconnected as it is from the world outside. But he sees the parallels to himself, disconnected from humanity. They must have been so isolated, with no easy way in or out. Aren't there boats? He saw how much work it was to cross the fjord. And the weather's bad. It can't be healthy, being so isolated. Cooped up inside, reading the collected works. Yeah, all right, I get <laughs> This it. village is basically you. I said, <laughs> all right. It's nice to have Lissy as a character here to bring some liveliness and some fun to something that otherwise wouldn't really have any humor at all. Hot dog! 
this is our ticket out of here. Not without Betty. I guess it could work. It's not in good condition, though. Oh, does it have holes? Edward can't help notice the gaping hole in the bow. The boat is unusable. Oh. Besides, there's a hole in this boat. It'll sink before it gets ten yards from shore. It's curious. The state of the boats. It's like they stopped taking care of them. Seems short-sighted. How would they fish? Or get anywhere at all? Skipping rocks. Hmm, yeah, has it been cut or what? There's no damage to the rope. I don't know what that means. Nobody cut it. I guess the knot could have unraveled on its own. Didn't you say you used a sailor's knot? I'm a scholar, not a fisherman. So, who took our boat? A ghost? The fjord, Edward knows, can be Not treacherous. A ghost, then... a goat? A goat's road? Currents steal lives, why not boats? Maybe the boat saw an opportunity to be free of the yoke of humanity and stole off into the night. Yeah, if so, good for that boat. I can respect that. Tide, current, Betty? stranger in the night, whatever stole the boat, Most Edward knows. Something, something. It's safe to say no ghost in the night stole our boat. I don't know about that. Say so. But then who were you chasing after last night? A ghost? I don't know. It was probably all in my head. The weather is favorable today. I did a little dance last night. Appeasing the weather gods. Thor, in particular, was mightily impressed. Was he? Promised to back off with the thunder and lightning for a spell. And don't you know, he proposed to me. Oh, but I told him I'm not into gods. I prefer jazz musicians. <laughs> Can I inspect it further? No? No. Just giving it a proper stare. This is owned by the mining company? Secrets? Hey, check it out, Lissy. I found a stick. Actually, that's more like a log. That's a big stick. Oh, she doesn't care. There's another building over here. Along the shore. Oh. Old minecart and track. What's this? Remnants of the mining operation. What? Mine? Remember, I, I, I told you yesterday. There was a mine here, but it closed down 20 years ago. I know, Edward. I was just checking for a sense of humor. Still nowhere to be found. It's quite peaceful. If no one was around, I'd strip naked. The earth would delight in my bare feet. The wind would savor playing with my hair. Is that so? I don't know. I just like being naked. But not when you're around, teddy bear. I'm starting to get a little feeling that something might be going on with Lissy and whether she actually exists or not. Anyone else feel that way? 
Because we know that Edward has spells, right? Where they get, like, dizzy, have to lay down. Um... And... It's that, plus the fact that we haven't seen Lissy actually do anything. Right? Like, hey, do you want to take the rose? And then she didn't. And she hasn't, like, opened any doors? Or, like, done any physical things with the world, I think? And also... The third thing that made me think of it just now is she was back at the dock and then I just like looked down here and then looked up and she's just on the tracks now. Almost as if she teleported. Now it could just be a game thing, you know, because they want to keep Lissy around me. So maybe they just kind of, you know, when you're not looking at her, have her kind of magically move into place. That's possible, but I get the feeling there's something else going on. It sounded like there was an accident at the pond. I wonder if... This is the person who died at the pond, maybe? I don't know, but I feel like something's up with her. To min on. It's a memorial. Three men died when the mine collapsed in 1902. Georg Hatlestad, Niels Frambu, Arna Fretland. See, this is what working a regular job. I, did you say Fretland? The younger brother who was mentioned in the article. The younger Fretland, Edward thinks, was a victim of his family's ambitions. He was just 19. How long had he been working in the mine? That's too young for a dirty job like digging into rock. We're in the real world, Lissy. Most teeners don't have the luxury to idle away their days with games and witty repartee. Ouch. A tragic accident like this one, he knows, in a community so small would be felt by everyone. The newspaper said the accident forced the mine to shut down. What does any of this have to do with us? I still don't know why Elizabeth came here. And you think it has something to do with this mine? Or with what it did to the village? Maybe. I wonder if people who can read Danish would have a different perspective on this game. Because we get the little blurbs that Edward seems to be able to translate. Which is probably the, the key things, probably the most important things about what's written. But, you know, if you spoke or uh, could read Danish, then... You could understand everything that's written instead just instead of just little bits. What did they use this for? Bringing the ore down from the mine before it was loaded onto boats. So, diamonds? Gold? Or just boring old silver? Iron ore. Or what? Rock, which contains iron I know. deposits that... I... <sighs> okay, Edward. I don't understand why they just leave this here. Like an altar to adversity. It's creepy. Rustic superstition. Perhaps they believed they'd attract bad luck if they moved it. Where do these tracks lead? To the mine. Where else would they go? I don't know. A castle up in the mountains? Where the frost giants live? And this is how they receive their monthly offering of meat from the villagers. Goat, I hope. We've seen that one goat. That's the only living thing we've seen around here, I think. Oh, look at that water. It looks so beautiful. Ah, drawing spot.
No trespassing for traitors. Cool. Want to jump the gate and explore what's on the other side? No trespassing for traitors? What do you say, old sport? Edward isn't particularly enthused by the idea of climbing the fence and braving the path up the hill. Hey. Hello? The sign says no trespassing for a reason. Come on! There may be trolls, or at least more houses. Where's your sense of adventure, old sport? Don't you want to see where these tracks go? They lead to the old mine, and no. I've had enough adventure on this side of the fence. Besides, they wrote no trespassing for a reason. You're such a terrible bore, Teddy Bear. I'll wager a thousand clams. You'll jump this gate at some point, if you believe Betty's on the other side. Frederick Fretland. Who are these traitors he refers to? What now? We've looked everywhere. There really doesn't seem to be anyone around. Maybe we missed something. An important clue. How about the general store? We haven't been inside yet. It looked deserted, but worth another look, I guess. Okay, we'll head back there. Hear me out, Edward. It says no trespassing for traitors. I mean, we're not a traitor, right? Oh, I just realized it looks like this has been burnt. Like somebody tried to burn it or something? Not that you would need to burn it to get over. I mean, this would be so easy to jump over. Yeah, the mine tracks go up there. Let's go back to the general store. <laughs> 